Hey, what's up guys? Johnny Jenkins here, or Limit Fisherman 48. And I'm gonna just start start, uh, start saying myself as Johnny Jenkins from now on, but uh, I'm gonna try and speak kinda loud with the wind, but uh, here we are, I'm gonna, I've been asked to do a little, uh, go through my boat, my Ranger. I got a Ranger 185 VS. You see here, she's pretty dirty right now. You can see there's a lot of crud here. I'm gonna get some vinyl cleaner and take care of that today. Um, and we just got done fishing actually on Lake Hartwell. You're probably gonna see a video to, or two I put up from this, um, but Ranger 185 VS here with a Mercury 150 horsepower XR6 on the back. Um, let's see, Tempest, Tempest Jack Plate and also a Tempest, uh, uh, Tempest Plus uh, from Mercury Marine Prop. Nothing really special, all that just came on the boat. So um, let's see, we'll walk through. I got a nice spare tire. I always want to keep these inflated and welded and ready to go. You just never know when you're going to need it. I got a I got a small little jack in there. Um, let's see, I've got a, a Humminbird 898C side imaging uh, unit on here. It's uh, it, it does pretty well, honestly. If I could go back, I'd rather go to Lawrence, but uh, that stuff you'll see in other videos. Uh, let's see, I put it on a little, nice little ram mount, and we have the wires protected here. That way, uh, rain can't get to them quite as bad and you just kind of keep them together that way they're not just so loose and then uh, this came on the boat right here this Lawrence X X96 it's just uh, regular um, sonar it's not colored either so uh, that's one of the things I'm wanting to definitely upgrade because you know it's nice to have the ram out I can turn it around and do what I need to do but it'd be really nice to be able to have a bigger unit back there for fishing these bigger lakes you don't know how important that is having the bigger unit it really makes a big difference um, and having you know maybe that size a unit or maybe one step bigger up here at the very most probably that size would do me just just fine um let's see it says ranger right there i've got a tackle warehouse sticker right there um i got a hummingbird sticker right there on the other console it, it is a dual console where you'll have a console on the left and the right i think it just improves the ride for the passenger um but there are some you know disadvantages but hey i really like this boat when we bought it we bought it used it's a 2004 um and uh, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, my next boat may not have it or it may I might like them Some of the boats now are coming where you can take them on and off um, Nothing really uh, the, that little sticker right there is kind of a memorial sticker for uh, a dog that we had We caught him a little Yankee dog off of uh, There's a movie. I'm trying to think of it. If some if someone remembers it leave it in the comments uh, But there was a movie where they they said little Yankee dog or something. It was some kind of like lawyer movie and uh, one of our dogs uh, got ran over in our neighborhood and it was one of our favorite dogs uh, really of all time and definitely, you know, that time. So um, it's a little thing. I also have one on my truck uh, along with a few stickers uh, up here. Just got this. It's almost exactly it's pretty much a year almost to the week that I got this 82 pound thrust uh, Minn Kota Maxim. Really good trolling motor. Holds up really well. It's an 18 and a half foot bass boat it itself, but the package itself is about 20 foot long or so. Um, I really like the uh, with the Rangers. I really like the trailers that they have on them. All of the the uh, all of the wires are inside of the aluminum, so that way you don't have to worry about uh, wires getting shortened out and whatnot. But uh, you know, as, as far as uh, we'll go from the front. Uh, see here, this is where your lights are, navigation lights. This is where a lot of your power goes sh throughout your boat to the batteries back there from like the Humminbird or from your sonar unit and from your uh, trolling motor, stuff like that. Here I can turn on the lights on and off and actually that switch is on right now. Um, let's see, this right here is like an accessory so I, I could turn an accessory on or off from, uh, from up here. Also, this is trim up and down. I had that, see the motor move there? That's just trim up and down, and I can use that there. Um, uh, we'll keep moving back. Actually, let's go ahead and jump in the boat and check it out and uh, see what we got. All right, so to step up here, you'll see I've got some extra baits laying around. It was a pretty bumpy, windy day out there, so I, I'm going to clean this stuff up here real soon. Some extra baits laying around. You have a little pole here where you can put an extra seat in the middle for a passenger. Um, let's go into these compartments, and I'll show you what what I've got in there kind of this first major compartment this is where I keep a lot of my soft plastics and jigs type stuff I got got this bag here full of different jigs keep them wet pretty well organized uh, this is supposed to go right here I really like that accessory it's pretty sweet you can get them at Bass Pro Shops I'll probably have a video on it if anyone has a boat they're sweet um, let's see 
this is a, a Plano Pro Latch double extra large stowaway. I've got all my soft plastics. I've got a ton in there. I just got that uh, about a week ago, and it's awesome. I love the way they organize it. Got a few extra plastic baits and a uh, few extra boxes. Nothing special. Up here, I'll hang a few things if I've got a tournament. I know certain baits I'm definitely going to fish with. I'll put them up there, have them prepared, and uh, ready to go. Then here, stepping back, one more latch. This is just my cooler and trash here. Nothing too much. Here's actually my uh, charger. I need to have that. Um, nothing really too special. Probably going to want that soon. Um, but yeah, cooler, trash. And then right here, this, this compartment used to be my rod locker. But uh, now I just keep my hard baits in here for the most part. I'll keep some extra little things. Um, it's got a little uh, rod guide here. You can fit, I think it's six. It's got six or seven. I think it's seven tubes. Um, you can see way down in there. There's another one way up here if you can't see it. So seven rods can fit in there. But I keep all my hard hard baits for the most part terminal tackle in here just extra little things I keep a lot of my uh, stuff like that in here I try and keep them pretty well organized and specific for the day all right jumping to the other side over here this other rod locker this is what I actually use for my rod locker um, I can legitimately fit about 20 rods in here I usually keep extra little things I usually keep my line in here too because um, this is a real nice cool compartment it stays real cool in here and dry so I like it for that um, here's a few packages I had. This is some wiring for my GoPro. Um, just extra rods. I keep my light stuff in here. They hang right here, if you can see. They hang on these little, these little knobs right there. I also keep my fire, uh, fire extinguisher here. You gotta have that by law. Um, but yeah, as long as you have these sleeves, man. I, I, when I got my boat worked on after I had an accident earlier this year, I basically ran aground. I, uh, asked the guy, hey, can you make it to where I can, um, have an empty slot in here because the, the way Ranger make their makes their their things uh, basically it stops somewhere up around here. That box goes as far back there. See, you can only legitimately fit about a seven foot rod in there at the about the at the most. I've tried it before, and I just wanted to where I could just lay them on top of each other instead of having the tubing because when you have the tubing, you can only lay like one in there. So I got that done, and now I can fit I can fit pretty much eight foot rods in there, and I've been I've been able to fit twenty rods in there. So awesome I keep my go pole um, that I made for my GoPro in here I keep extra GoPro stuff in here this is where I keep all my GoPro stuff uh, so yeah um, right here I got one of these little things that uh, you saw but in a smaller one I usually keep my little lure grabber things in there uh, I usually stuck them and stick them right there because you know if, if you're fishing and you hurry up and grab something you throw them down they ended up getting jumbled around and you, you can't find them when you need them so I'll end up getting lazy at the end of the day and not using them so I keep the stuff right here I've also got some gloves in there right now some Under Armour gloves uh, that I just bought so when it starts getting a little bit cooler and I need them I'll be uh, using those for sure oh and one last thing for the front I've got these let's see what brand are these these are boat buckle they're really nice they're really good I've had it on this boat since we got it for we got this boat I think it's four years now they last pretty well. I got them on both sides, and uh, it's pretty sweet. Um, I can't say enough about them. They're really good. They're the, I think they're, they're, they're the best design out there uh, for these, these bass boats. All right, moving on back. The dual console. In here, you'll see this is an extra little compartment. You can lock this. I got a lot of extra things in here. This is where I'll keep extra hats, suntan lotion. You know, I'll keep a chamois. I'll keep some extra line if I need it. Anything I need. Like, if I'm about to leave home, I'll just throw it in here. This is, like, the most or unorganized part of my boat at the moment. It is complete trash. Um, but I pretty much leave this compartment for my dad and Chad, uh, my filmer and editor. But mostly my dad. He makes this thing a wreck. He doesn't even have to be on the boat much, and he'll end up just shoving stuff in there. Like, there's probably old wrappers in there. I don't clean it because he don't clean the boat, and um, I don't feel like I don't use that compartment that much, so I don't worry about it too much. Um, then right here, got a third seat that can come up, but I like this carpet wear here. If I don't need the seat, it just protects the seat from people stepping on it. It'll wear it down more. You can bring it back up. Like I said, I need to clean them. Um, live wells, I'm going to do a video on my live wells and how they work, but uh, this is pretty much it. Two, two separate live wells. I don't know how big they are, but uh, yeah, I mean, nothing really special here. In and out pump, uh, 
just uh, just regular live wheels really. I'll do a video on these probably separate before long. Uh, I got a real nice seat here, came with it, so it's pretty sweet. Um, going into this, this left compartment, I'll usually switch these two compartments up on whatever I need. It's nothing too specific. I keep, keep my life vest with my kill switch. Um, I'll keep some cleaning agents. I always keep this with me, and I'm going to buy another one before long, catch and release. Uh, you catch a fish, you gut hook and put this on him. You could really save his life, You uh, anything like that. It's really great stuff. i got a video on, about that on Peak Performance. Link's going to be in the description. Some good videos I have from them. Um, let's see. I have a first aid kit right here. I keep. I always want to keep some stuff like that. I've got a, I got a real nice knife in here we used to use to, gut, to uh, clean fish with. Let's see. I got a weigh-in bag, I've got spark plugs, always good to have on the water. Um, uh, got some extra tools, and I've also got a tool kit on the other side. I usually keep my culling beams and you know culling accessories in this box too. Mo moving on to this side right here, I've got my chamois that I'm going to clean my boat with. I've got a tie down, I've got my 100, 100 mile an hour rain gear right there. I've got an extra rain jacket, extra life vest for my partner. Just a lot of cleaning stuff that's going to go in here. I've got these bottles that are filled with catch and release me. I went ahead and pre-filled them. I'll usually ice them over in the summer, just dump them in. I've um, got an extra seat post here. That's basically this part right there. I've got one of those. And my tool kit. Really nothing a whole lot special in here. I think I've got some bungee straps. Just, you know, safety equipment, cleaning stuff. And I usually throw my uh, rain gear in there too. All right, jumping back to this back compartment here. Uh, I've got three 24 volt batteries in here. Uh, nothing really special. I think two of them I bought at uh, Okoli Marine, I think, and then another one I bought probably just at Walmart. Nothing too special. Um, this boat's got almost a 40 gallon gas tank, and the gas tank I think sits right around here, underneath that compartment. Um, Let's see, you got this so I can put oil in there and not spill it all over the place. Got an extra towel there if I spill some oil. Um, this is the to prime it. I got to prime it before I go. And there's the onboard charger. Hopefully you can see. I'll turn it. Onboard charger right there, just a Bass Pro Shops XPS. It's uh, just a two bank, but I'm going to be working on getting a three bank. That way I can charge the uh, starting battery. At the same time, it's really useful having, you know, two or three banks, even four banks for bigger boats, uh, so you can charge all your batteries at once. Uh, bilge pump there on the very bottom, and there's also aeration pumps and stuff that then feed to the live well. But uh, that's that, man. That concludes the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you, uh, if you did, you learned something, leave a like. And uh, I encourage you to leave some comments. It makes me feel good when I read them. So have a good day, guys.